Hey family, it's Mark again, and I'm just getting back to you. It was so good to see each one of you at the memorial service for Uncle Chris, or as we affectionately knew him as Chito. I wanna tell you how proud I am to be a member of this family. For everyone to drive from so far away to be a comfort to each other at a time of difficulty was commendable. And I just wanna let you know that I love each and every one of you. Now at the memorial service, you allowed me the privilege to preach a message called the man in the middle. And we talked about Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made on the cross to give us salvation. And the best that I could see, almost 20 of you said that you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says once we make that decision, we have a new life in Christ. Old things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. I'd like to tell you congratulations. It's the best decision that you'll ever make. I know for me it was the best decision that I've ever made. And now what happens after making that decision? I just wanna leave you with three quick things to consider and they're as simple as A, B, C. A is the assurance of your salvation. We have the assurance that we're on our way to heaven based upon the word of God. If we understood our condition, we were a sinner. We understood our consequence was hell, but that Christ Jesus made a way for us to get to heaven you have the assurance that this one-time decision will gain you entrance into heaven. B, Bible reading and prayer. If I could encourage you to find a Bible, I would recommend to you a King James Bible and start reading that every day. And before you begin reading, maybe you could ask God to bless the reading of his word as you read it and help you to understand it. But if I could recommend to you Bible reading and prayer every day from this point on, and then C. It may be one of the most important recommendations I could make to you is finding a church, a Bible-believing church where the pastor preaches the truth and there's a place where you can fellowship with other people who have made that decision as well. I remember when I was a young man, as I told you at the memorial service, I placed my faith in Jesus Christ. And from there, I walked into a Baptist church and they began to show me things out of the Bible I've never heard. And then more importantly is, what they showed me by the way they lived. And being around other Christians helped my spiritual growth. And I would not be here today speaking to you if it had not been for the grace of God and the church family who loved me in spite of my faults and failures, encouraged me to keep growing in my faith. So if I could leave you those three things, I'd sure like to encourage you in that way. If you'd be able to message me, you can get my number from my dad or any one of the aunts in Corpus Christi. I'd love to help you find a church where you can grow, but just know that best decision, it gets only better from there if you'll take these three things, the assurance of your salvation, Bible reading and prayer, and find yourself even this week on Sunday in a Bible-believing church. I believe God would bless that. And now before I let you go, if you wouldn't mind, let me pray a blessing over your life and your new walk with God. Would you do that with me? I'm gonna bow my head and wherever you're at, would you talk to God in your heart while I talk to God out loud? Father in heaven, thank you for each family member who is now saved and on their way to heaven. We pray that you'd help instill in their hearts the assurance of their salvation. It's the best decision that they've ever made. And Lord, help them to find themselves in Bible reading and prayer each day they wake up. And Lord, maybe most importantly, that you help them to find the Bible-believing church where they can join and grow from there. And thank you for our time in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching and God bless you in your new walk in Christ.